That's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> no, seriously though, like, yes, I was crying. I, it was, listen, if you know me, you know I love Burner Boy with my soul, my spirit, everything in me. Maybe you don't know that much, but I love that man. I knew I was going to cry. I told everybody I was going to cry. Yes, I was crying. Yeah, it was an amazing experience, like, all in all, but you can see the fact that we're making this video i do have some things to say about the whole entire experience but before you know i get to the bad stuff you don't really want to talk bad first i'm gonna include some clips of the concert and like my time there and getting ready and all that i didn't do no get ready with me or nothing i don't know but i'm with my aunt my beautiful auntie we're trying to find the gate nope doors are closed they really said no inside i don't know who this is evander hollyfield Get the hell out of my face before I smack you. I'm not playing. We're trying to look for gate five. Look at the fit. Look at the fit. Gate five. I'm going to just put this in. For this whole clip, you cannot hear me. But I'm saying important stuff, so I'm keeping it in. But the wind is crazy. So just mind your business. outside waiting and then they moved us to like this underground area if you don't know it was at state farm arena in atlanta that's where burner boys concert was held we were outside waiting by gate five and then they moved us to the other side of the arena if you've ever been to gate five you know what that looks like and we we're underground i'm waiting in line as you saw me with my aunt and then these like people that i met there it was really cool i already have a story time when we're in this area we're waiting in line right we took up our good good money our good good sales weight from as you saw from like 320 or so and this girl randomly comes up and she's like looking around she's like lost i'm like oh girl what's going on what are you looking for who are you looking for and then she's like oh i'm supposed to be here at my friend but i don't see them my cousin was supposed to be coming but she was late so me personally if somebody else look for them friend that's supposed to be in the front of the line me can't chat i can't say nothing i cannot say a thing because my cousin about to do the same thing i was just like listen <clears throat> do what you gotta do and then she's still there and i'm just like girl you're literally in the middle of us. Like, it was me, my aunt, this girl that I met. Her name's Monica, her brother, Brian, I think. And then, yeah, that was basically, like, who we were, like, talking to. And then she just, like, smack dab in the middle. And it's supposed to be two single file lines. They wanted us to get into two single file lines. And I'm just like, girl, what's going on? I'm noticing that she's, like, not really, there's no friends. Like, she's looking, I don't know what friends she's talking about. And I'm like, girl, do you have, like, a contact for them? She's like, no, I only have them on Instagram. And I'm like you going to a concert with somebody that you only have on instagram or you want me to believe that shit uh-uh be for real because you're not <sighs> disclaimer i am not a confrontational person y'all can yell at me all y'all want i'm not a confrontational person i'll get mad and i'll let you know that i'm mad but i'm not confrontational i'm not violent i'm a pacifist so i'm i'm not violent i don't do none of that so then she was like oh yeah are you mad when i stay there and then my dumb self won't be like i mean yeah but like get behind us like you can't just skip do whatever but then again it's not really me that's dumb she kind of because she heard that she never moved not one bit fast forward she's still there i'm just sitting there like me and like other people start bonding over the fact that she's just in the middle of the line like there were some girls in front of us and they had like this whole group of friends trying to come up and skip in front of them and like get with their friends but it's like okay this is like four people like you can't just do that so then during that time we we're like oh she's not even supposed to be here either and then the girl is looking around like what what oh my god girl you knew what she was doing yeah so basically like the security is basically telling her to leave she does not leave she doesn't leave she, like, she literally doesn't leave like my cousin started talking to her and was like you literally can't do this like this is weird this is weird behavior for you this is weird behavior for anybody this is weird because we don't even know who you are you're not even trying to like you're being weird she still stayed there at this point we were just trying to figure out ways to just make sure that she don't skip us at this point because clearly she not move 
right if you are american and strictly american i'm so sorry um i'm gonna have subtitles so there were some people behind the people who you guys saw in the video the girl with the long black hair and her there the, there's some people behind them and i was like getting cool with them too because of the fact that she was right there and i was like okay you know what we should all do when the line starts to move like just like jump around her or something i like, make sure so she get back so then time fast forward it's 6 30 now which by the way 6 30 is when the doors like actually open mind you she got here late she was not here with us she got here like six o'clock probably so we were dealing for this dealing with this for like 30 minutes so yeah the doors open they open up the gates and we're walking through and then she literally starts pushing us all the way running pushing us all the way i'm just like girl I just pulled the security guard to one side and I was like, listen, the girl in the pink dress, she is not supposed to be here. She just came up randomly. She's getting through and then he stops her. But then the other security guard is like, oh, it doesn't even matter, bro. And I'm like, it do matter. It does. It matters. Two seconds later. It doesn't even matter because I got front row. Anyways. <laughs> And we cannot escape, we cannot come out. Mama, we're trapping at this bomb. Bitches is mad. We're in front. I'm feeling comfy. They start bringing on like these DJs to um like warm up the crowd or whatever. They started off strong. They ended off so weak. If you hear a noise in the back. I don't live by myself, so just be real and ignore it. I just wanted Burner Boy to come out, and there's just a lot of stuff happening, but they did bring somebody on the stage, do a little dance contest. Like, as I said, they started out real strong. Like, I was getting real hype. I'll include, like, little clips. Stage. There's only one thing I need for y'all. I need some energy. I need some energy, because that's all Burner needs. Afrobeats is now. Afrobeats is now. It's no longer the future. We're taking over. Look around, y'all are all part of history. So I appreciate everybody for coming early. This is how we gonna start the vibe like this. Security, bring us to the stage for me, please. Somebody's gonna know what to embarrass me. This is the next story time and this is the real upsetting one at this time when the dj was like the videos that i just showed i was probably like seven or so maybe like an hour into whatever they were doing as y'all saw it's my aunt my me and then my cousin so i see this empty spot beside my cousin and i'm like what's going on there i'm like oh can can me and you switch that i have a little bit more space for like dancing whatever so we switch mind you nobody was in that spot it just so happened to be like this much more space nobody was in that spot though i go in that spot i'm vibing i'm chilling all of a sudden i feel somebody pushing on me but at the same time we're all in there literally packed like sardine so i'm not even like meds in it and i just keep pushing like i feel like it's intentional now and i'm like girl what are you doing she's like oh i was right here and i was like no you see like i came with my cousin and my aunt so like we were all here and if we're still lined up here that means that we're we're supposed to be here you weren't here and she's like no i was right here and i was like okay so she keeps pushing me guys i go to the gym i have big gains so i really i really wasn't moving like that but it was really annoying like it was really annoying as i said i'm not confrontational but it's getting extreme and i'm like girl what are you doing and then she's like she's like oh sorry i'm not pushing you there's people pushing me nobody was pushing her she was intentionally pushing me because she was upset 
that she did not get front row and i'm like girl you are not in front row what are you talking about we somehow some way she find herself and she start squish herself in the front row i'm like whatever me we're all still lined up i'm like whatever and it would be whatever if she wasn't still pushing me the girl's still pushing me. she's in our spot she's still pushing me it's out of spite now right it gets to a point where it's like unbearable and i have to tell my cousin and my aunt i'm like listen this girl keeps pushing me and she go and find out why she should stop my cousin and i switch spots so then time move forward i'm i'm annoyed because she's being weird the dj is not playing music that i really want to be hearing right now as i already said they started strong and did weak so i was just like really annoyed my cousin is like um she's pushing me like way too much and if she push me one more time i'm gonna have to fight and i was like listen i completely understand because that's exactly how she was pushing me we switch again but like my cousin kind of like puts an arm between me and her so that she don't get to touch me too much i still feel her pushing me doing too much nothing is going on guys burner boy is not out they don't even have the band set up this is literally just a dj playing trash music right now nothing is going on right now she just pushing because she she is sick and disgusting and karma will get her anyway so then again my cousin is like my arm is literally killing me right now because she's literally squeezing into my arm and she literally does not care i was just like you can move it it's fine she moves it immediately like no time wasted she's pushing all up against me and i'm just like where do you expect me to go where are you trying to go you're literally in the front what are you doing? You're doing this. You're you're rude. You're disgusting. You're gross. Well, just as I thought, trash. So then basically, I'm just like, girl, what? Literally, what is wrong with you? Like, what is your problem? You don't you don't see how disgusting and gross you're being? And mind you, this is over like a course of probably an hour. So this is like going on for a while. And I'm like, now I'm like getting heated. I'm like, literally, what is wrong with you? Like, you're trying to, like, destroy the whole entire thing. And then, like, my cousin says the same thing. She said something before I had that outburst. When I get upset, I just go silent. So if I talk while I'm upset, you really get me upset. Unless we're having, like, a communication type of thing. If I'm, like, yelling on, you really get me upset. But anyways, my aunt was just like, listen, when Burning Boy come out, just get hype and jump to the left so that we can squish her. And my aunt switched places with me. So now my, so now it's me, my aunt, that disgusting girl, and then my cousin is behind me. Because she literally squished us out of that place. Like, it's crazy. I was getting sad or whatever, whatever. But then, Burner Boy came out. I'll, I'll insert a clip of that. So before I put in the rest of the concert clips that I got, which I did not get a lot, I was really trying to live in the moment because I literally love that man. I just wanted to say, like, in the literal like, middle of the concert, the same girl who was being gross and disgusting about being in the front row, she literally got these special badges and got pulled, like, outside of the barricade and was, like, even closer to him. I didn't really notice at the time because, as I said, I'm literally in love with Burning Boy. I was, my eyes were glued on that man. As I said, I was literally crying. Y'all saw that. I'm editing. I didn't even explain like how I knew that she, my aunt was like talking about it after the fact because as I said, she was right beside her. So I was like, girl, but yeah. I was just thinking like, girl, you were doing all of that at your grown age and you knew you were gonna get a better view of him. You just wanted to do, like she literally is just gross. Like that was like the confirmation. Like she's literally just gross, y'all. But nevertheless, I had an amazing time watching my babe. My babe, Burna Boy, my babe, Damini. I was being pushed up against the barricade. So I am like sore right here. It was really gross. It was really sweaty. There are so many smells. It was really disgusting. I would literally never, ever, 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 ever do floor seats again. You will never, I don't care who it's for. You will never catch me doing that ever again in my entire life. I'm glad I did it for Burner Boy. That was a one-time thing I'm done. But it was amazing seeing him so close. And I did not throw my bra at him. That was for clickbait. <laughs>
yeah enjoy the rest of the clips i hope you enjoyed the story or whatever <laughs> I see you, baby. Let's go. Just as I thought, trash. <laughs>